Good morning, YouTube pipe smokers. First of all, prayers and best wishes for Corfet Jim's son. Uh, I guess he's in the hospital in serious condition. Um, so pray for Corvette Jim and his family. I see many other YouTube presenters have done that, and uh, <coughs> hope everything works out well. It's uh, Monday, September 2nd. Looks like rain in the forecast for New York. I haven't seen the news yet for the hurricane uh, report, but hope it's not as bad as they predicted. So first thing in the morning, I caught a Simon's uh, Road video, first one in a few weeks. I enjoy his uh, morning videos. And you know, interesting topic, and I'm going to weigh in on it, <clears throat> about police not carrying firearms or some other means of defense, such as tasers or something like that. Now, I've never been out of the country, you know, foreign land, so it's just what I heard about and what I know about certain things by reading. At one time, the London police, I guess Bobby as it's referred to, was feared. They took no nonsense from anybody. You were on the street late at night, you got questions, uh, where you going, where you coming from, and there was no um, you didn't get over on them, in other words. They, they didn't take no, uh, nothing lightly. They were very strict, perhaps too strict, and maybe that's what led to the way they are today. I don't know that, but all I can tell you is, and before I say anything, I happen to be in favor of guns. I'm a, I have a pistol permit myself. I used to hunt, I no longer hunt, I lost interest in hunting. And, you know, anything, when you grow up as a kid, you get disciplined and usually, and I know there's exceptions to this, but as a general rule, you can get away with more with your mother than you can with your father. So you used to do something bad, and your mother would say many times, wait till your father gets home. So it was that fear that kept you restrained somewhat. You'd still push the buttons, but you'd do it until you got the warning, and then you'd stop because you were fearful that mom's going to tell your father. Well, it's the same thing for police. You have to fear something to respect it. You know, same thing with speeding. You don't speed because you got the fear that a cop's going to be down the road and pull you over for speeding, and you don't want to get that expensive ticket. If for some reason there was no money in the budget for the cop to be there, then the roads would be horrendous. They'd be speeding continuous. The speeding now that people take chances. So it's the same thing. When a criminal, the bad guys, and they're getting worse because society has dropped all common sense with this political correct BS and all this nonsense and if there's no fear of somebody having a gun in authority, then the bad guy just won. He has more power than he's ever had. Now I know all the arguments, well you have a gun, what if the guy goes nuts? Well, I have a car, what if I go nuts? 
and I decide I'm going to kill a bunch of people. Well, I drive the car into a storefront or a crowd of people. You know, it's, 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 it's such a foolish argument. If somebody wants to hurt somebody, they find a way to do it, whether there's a gun involved or not. But to have police, I'm surprised they even have police officers in London that would agree to taking a job like that. So Simon gave a scenario, you're going to pull some guy over, he comes out with a, a waving a sword, and I have nothing to defend myself. Are you out of your mind? How is he going to protect anybody? Unless he's a Bruce Lee or a Chuck Norris or somebody like that, and there's a few of people that can do that. Then I want him to have a gun or some means of uh, tranquilizer gun or something. I don't understand why that's never been implemented anyway, if you want to know the truth. Or there was talk about a gun with rubber bullets or some kind of weaponry you need to, to take down the bad guy. There's no question about that. And, and to not have any kind of weapon to, to protect society is insane. There's no question about that. There's really no debate even because it's just insane. That would be like taking the armies the U.S. Army and removing their weapons. Uh, what are you, nuts? <clears throat> For anything to work, you have to have some kind of order, some kind of fear, some kind of consequences. Otherwise, it's not going to work. back in time. That's what you have to do. Go back years ago when you were a kid, in our case, if you're in a generation of being 60 now in that area. Many th things were seen better. There was a more family unit, there was more respect. We've gotten so far away from that, where you can't say anything, you can't uh, compliment a woman because it uh, could be deemed sexual harassment. You, I mean, come on, it's ridiculous. They want to change names of baseball teams from having an Indian name. Uh, I mean, give me a break, you know? You can't go back and rewrite history. It's history. Learn from it, improve, and move forward. Take down statues. Uh, you know, a friend of mine has been watching um, old movies. One of the channels up here, this cable, they have these older movies, and he's watching a movie from the 60s. And he was remarking that uh, it's unbelievable. Everybody smoked in the movie. Uh, everyone um, joked around with one another using um, words today that wouldn't be acceptable. And I'm not saying smoking is a good thing. I'm just saying, you know, have, times have changed so much that um, really 
really lost our way in a lot of respects. Bring back the old values, bring back dress codes, bring back order. Uh, don't favor one group over another. Make parents be more accountable for their kids. Give teachers more power. Schools need to become better. And that's how you uh, restore order and stop some of this nonsense that we see happening. cater to every group, every wing nut out there. Do it with facts. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a good day. Last of the holidays. Now we start to prepare for winter. Hope everyone's doing well. Again, prayers and best wishes to Corvette Jim's son. I hope everyone has a great day. Thank you.